Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster campaign that's quite a doozy. Playing as Russia in Medieval 2 Grand Campaign, the first thing I notice here is 182,000 in debt, and we're losing 5 grand per turn. It's turn 111, the Mongols are here, and they've basically just kicked him out of his homeland. But rather than trying to defend against the Mongols, he seems to be just pushing west to try to escape them, which is not necessarily the wrong call if you don't prepare for the Mongols. If you prepare for the Mongols, you can take them out by by the time they show up. But if you don't prepare for them, then they, they actually kind of get really damn difficult. Now, at this stage of the campaign, in order to secure as much of that money needed to pay off that debt, what you'd actually want to do is push westward and just keep sacking settlements, like big settlements along the way, because you can make a, a ton of money in uh, doing so. Uh, usually the uh, the Western factions, I actually find them pretty, pretty easy to deal with, Mongols less so. Now, with this particular save file here, I don't think an hour is enough time to clear that debt. I don't think several hours is enough time to clear that debt. So what I want to do here is I'm going to give it my best shot in this hour here, and then if you guys really enjoy this particular disaster, maybe we can pick it up as a live stream. So we'll see how we go with that. But I also really want to say thanks to you guys for sending in these Medieval 2 disaster, uh, disaster campaigns and for Rome 1 as well. Uh, they've been truly enjoyable to cover, so we're going to uh, keep doing that. So, we shall not well, you got all, is that all of your family members? Let's, let's take stock of what the situation is. So he's besieging Vienna. You should got fear siege us coming, okay. my enemy! We await your order He's got a lot of family members. Let's let's have a look at this and see what happened. So, I think it was just a relatively passive campaign. Well, he had nearly twenty settlements at one point. I imagine it was most of this territory out here, and it just it collapsed. You can tell there's a lot of area that he hasn't actually visited at all. He's been broke for a very long time. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeez. It turned 65, he went into debt, and then it doesn't show the graph below uh, zero, so it's... Yeah, okay. Yeah. His actual population isn't all that bad. It's far from his peak, though. Oh, okay. He's got a lot of family members, and that's definitely a good thing. They are one of the more expensive units in the game, because um, you have to pay them uh, the, each individual character a salary, plus their bodyguard, because you've got... Um, uh, where is it? Wages, and also the uh, the upkeep. But that being said, these are units that are very much worth it. So, add Heliich here. We've got a Mongol you army on the way. No right. Um, Once an honor to serve, my lord. I'm actually surprised he's got this many family members. He's just spamming out cavalry everywhere. Um, okay, let's have a look at comparison in terms of Mongols. We need to know what we're dealing with here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, the thing is, if we go and attack th that, um, that might that, that might just be a tip of the iceberg. There might be tons of armies out this way. So if we look at this, that's not gonna hold. Struggle oh, if you God. like. I will take you. Is there something you wish me to tell the Sultan? Okay, I just gotta figure out how we're gonna do this. So this here is a castle, that one's a castle, I'm looking specifically at fortress or not. I definitely think he's making the right move by pushing westward. So we're going to be capturing this Imperial large city, sack it and just keep pushing that way. I really don't want these guys here to die fighting Mongols. We can get so much more value by fighting the weaker factions out this way. That'd actually be very easy to deal with. Just leave, just leave them here with friggin' nothing. Like burn these settlements to the ground so that so that they can't maintain public order as best we can. Because, um, yeah, they'll reach a point eventually where they just, they're just they constantly trying to manage their own revolts. All right, so this one here. All right, we're going to yes. leave behind all the infantry. But since we've got this really mobile force, we should be trying to just basically be a Mongol invasion caused by the Mongol invasion. So we're going to form our own Mongol invasion. We're going to send this one here to Budapest. It's a large city. It looks like it's been plundered recently or something. I don't know. But we're going to go over there, I think. My lord. Orders, my king. So I need a general attached to this. What's, where's our king? I need to find out how much authority he has. The reason why we need to find that out is because this will give us an indication of how likely an army is to defect. And it's pretty likely, so we're going to need to family members. They're just all concentrated in friggin' two areas where they shouldn't be. They should be spread out. 
Okay, uh, if we could an just honor get... To, an honor to serve. Let's see, who's the most... Mm, okay, take take the most loyal general. That, that'll go do lots of dread. That'll go do. Send him down here. Mm, can these guys come up there? Alright, we can come up there. Yes. Mum, I look forward to an order. Whatever. And what we want to do is send these guys they around over here to Budapest. And these. An honor to serve, my lord. Just I leave behind the infantry. Because they slow my us lord. down. An honor to serve, my lord. Your will shall be obeyed. You will have and just no try to basically rights. escape the Mongol apocalypse. Because right. these are strong ever. armies, and that's that's why we're hemorrhaging cash. Okay, the Danes will be bloody easy to deal with. So if I go over to here, the Mongols might be able to catch me, but they can't catch me from there. So let's just stand there. We march. And resting the troops here. Yeah, obviously these units are gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're gonna die. Um, there's my king. Move out. Okay, okay. We're just gonna try to get. We're just gonna try to get ahead of this a little bit. So if we could manage to plunder five grand per turn, that'd be great. So starting with this one here. Um, don't even bother looking at mercenaries. Not gonna be able to get any. These guys. There's too many generals sitting in here. Looks like. Looks like this guy was just added here. So what if we took these ones and smashed that? Try to make our way over this way. Okay, let's go. Honor and courage, soldiers. We march to war. Um, that's that's a bit stronger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be mostly infantry, but we should be able to manage. And if some of our guys die, it's not that big of a deal. It just means we won't have to pay them anymore. Take courage, men. God will be with us as we meet. <laughs> My God. Oh, this is, this, is, yeah, this is not a usual scenario for sure. Thing is, if we were playing as a as a Catholic or Muslim faction, joining a crusade or jihad would be great for saving a lot of money. Another one with battle timer on. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, obviously, try to snipe the enemy general so the rest of the infantry will just collapse with ease. And we do that by separating our guys a little bit and trying to charge into his flank. So with these guys here, if we can get there. May have to charge into these peasant crossbowmen or else they are going to shoot at us. So let's do that. Because, yeah, these guys will do a ton of damage to our cavalry, which we can't allow, so... Their low reload time means that we can charge into them sometimes. Yep, we got them there. Without them getting a single shot off. Wow, that guy did not listen to my order. Come on, come back. Guys, back. Now, mailed knights are faster than general's bodyguard, so we're not going to be able to just hit and run as we see fit. Do what we can, don't get me wrong, but we're going to have to take out these mailed knights before we can really do anything against the rest of their forces. Luckily, Mailed knights are not particularly strong against General's bodyguard, but they are quicker than us. So they can pin us down and then get their spearmen over here to fight us, which we don't want. Let's let that happen. Completely lost track of where the general is. He's in there somewhere. What I could do is zoom in, and I can't see the bodyguard unit in th Okay, he's, he's there. So th that one there, it looks like it. Keep going around that way. Good, we're getting rid of some of their crossbows here. Try not to get charged too often. Okay, get those crossbows. 
by militia. Find that, pull them out. I think that one's the general. Also, I'm sure there's gonna be a friggin' ton of big comments about real world events with Russia. I'm just I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm just trying to play a game here. You know. But let's not let's not make any mistakes. I don't have any delusions. It's gonna happen. Okay, looks like we've got an opportunity there to kill the enemy general. I'm assuming that's him. We've actually got him pinted with all of our guys. That actually worked out really nicely there. So far, none of our generals have been killed, which is great. Shooting at us. The enemy general lies dead. Nice. The rest of these guys will fall really quickly now. Let's keep all of our guys together and basically be a gigantic cavalry wrecking ball. The thing is, the financial situation is so bad, I may even consider ransoming them. Although, that really goes against the core of my being in Medieval 2. Where I just know that the most optimal thing to do is is pretty much execute them. Because otherwise we're just going to fight them again later. But we didn't really lose anything. In this battle, so far at least. Just try to pull through that one a little bit. There we go. Only half the enemy force remains. Should we capture as many as possible? We want to either... Get as much dread as possible, or score as much ransom as possible. Because that's another thing as well, like, how much ransom can we really expect from a battle like this? Maybe three grand? <laughs> I mean, when you're this far in the hole, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. This is essentially going to be a migration campaign. I wonder how far... West, I can get in about an hour. <laughs> I can get about maybe halfway through the Holy Roman Empire. I'm going to have to fight a lot of battles. Depending on how carefully. I guys just about as fast as me. Depending on how carefully I have to fight the battles, depends on how, how quickly we can get through them. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Our men are many. The enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. Alright. Well, we've definitely killed enough of them to wipe out this army. There's no doubt about that. But let's see, with 625 captives. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is how much money would I get from something like that? Lurking in the trees. That is insulting! No, it's not. I just have to fight them again. Forget it. An honor to serve no deal. Friends. Just forget it. I will make them fear. All right. Low taxes. Make it normal taxes. Okay. So, where's our capital anyway? That is the capital. Mm. Okay, that's another thing. Uh, the settlements out here. I should probably turn off the sensor to do this. Um, we should probably demolish a few things. 
we're not going to be coming back here. I wouldn't normally use Scorched Earth tactics, but let's be real, we're not going to hold it. We're not going to be able to do anything here, so we might as well just not let the Mongols be able to make use of it. Okay, because yeah, the sound there is, gets quite loud with it. Um, yeah, we got us. We get a little bit of money from doing that. There's also, oh, maybe I'll go over to the Byzantine Empire down here. Yeah, it'll take us a few turns. Tomorrow. You seek an audience with our people. Okay, now we got this. This will be nice and easy. Could we maybe even get away with an auto resolve? Problem here is I don't have any cavalry. Coming, my enemy. Oh my god. We await Sorry. your order to move in. Oh my god. It's the opposite of what I actually meant. I've only got cavalry. I can't launch the attack. I don't have any infantry. Um I I'm not sitting there and starving that out for five turns. Forget that. That's too passive. We'll just move on to a different settlement. Or can we do a draw out anywhere? No. F what the fuck are you thinking with that? Um, how are we gonna get out of this? Yes. Leave. Do I have any spies? No. Oh my god. Uh, will make them fear you. Shit. Um. Yeah, go down south. Fuck. Move hell. out. I no wonder you're getting into debt job. with shit like that. Get marching. What is this? Allies? <laughs> Not anymore, I'll tell you that Move much. Out. Yeah, we've, we've got to find an opportunity to uh, to do a forced draw out with all these cavalry. Doesn't have any infantry anywhere. I, I can't hire mercenaries. Um, so we just got to look for opportunities where we can find them. Yes. With honor. Uh. Yes. Be okay. ready to move in the morning, man. All right. Well, I don't think I can really do anything else. No point looking at what I can construct because I can't construct anything. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I got no way of getting inside these settlements. Take Rebel Settlement of Moscow. Uh, I don't think so. I'm not going back that way. Hey, the Mongols, they just sort of backed off. Well, good, I guess. Your will shall be obeyed. An honor to serve, my lord. We shall not relent, ever! Castles are not really what we want to be focusing on. An honor on. to serve, my lord. See, I can't get in there. Yeah, I just can't get in there. Your will shall be oh obeyed. Oh god. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Jeez. <laughs> but legendary allies! Don't break the allies! Your will he ne he needs I will make uh. them fear you. The Venetian Citadel. If we can get him into Italy. Your will shall be obeyed. Alright, go this way. Get marching! Resting the troops here. Yeah, whatever. Cause like we're, we're, we're losing serve. so much more money now. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to kill to the city. Serve, I can't get in there. We got to get into the nice, rich territory somehow. And oh my god, I can't believe how fucked this is. With honor. I need time to get to these locations. Bleeding money out my bloody yeah. dickhole here. An order. All right, your job's gonna be getting over here. Move out. Go, go you, go here. over here, so that I can do a force draw out for fuck's sake. And that's only a castle. That's not gonna make us much. We shall not God relent. damn it! Yeah. Well, I can't do Some anything. <laughs> Besieging that settlement for another five turns. Friggin' nuts. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. We still get more family members. Um, mm, no, I think we've got enough. Oh my god. Your will shall be obeyed. God, I hope there's uh, a good yes. amount of Byzantine plunder to be had over here. Holy crap. There's no fucking serve. armies near these cities. All right, we're gonna have to An we're gonna have to pull to the serve. tricks out our sleeves here. Oh, hang on, yeah. here's something. We shall not relent ever. I will make them fear you. Be gone. You are not mine, Kaiser. Okay, An you besiege the settlement. An honor it's in a large serve. town as well. Then Your we have to send just one general An honor to, to serve, here. With honor. Okay. Confronting the enemy honorably. Uh, should be fine. Now, don't forget, we have to let them live. They should go back to the city, and we should be able to um, draw out the garrison that way. Like I said, just needed some fucking enemy forces nearby in order to pull these things off. There's no okay. Alright, this shouldn't be too difficult. Like, yeah, they're spearmen. But if we charge into the enemy general, we could kill him. The terrain can be a little bit advantageous with heals here, but we need to make use of it. Obviously, that's not where the general is going to be. But it's not absolutely essential that we kill the enemy general. I mean, we just took out half the unit, just like that, because they weren't braced. Doesn't matter if they're spearmen. If they don't brace, it doesn't matter. By the grace of God, our men have slain. Only half the enemy. The enemy army runs. We uh, must pursue all civilized. Yeah. Strength okay. We okay. Okay. Shall not relent ever. Okay, we gotta swing around that way, alright? An honor to serve. Alright, what's in here? Okay, it's easy. Alright, easy, easy. An easy honor easy to peasy, serve. holy Roman Empire squeezy. You. Let's go. We march to our enemy's doom. Ah! Now also just realized I'm not gonna be in a garrison in these cities. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Just let them come in first. <laughs> We're gonna have to like just plunder, and then leaving a general behind may not be worth it in a large town. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know. Maybe I'll send someone from the other settlement. So yeah, we just want to make sure that their forces are. Easy enough to catch by just not um, not being in the edge of the map. So just wait a moment for them to come in. Because yeah, if you just go rush at them right now, we'll beat them easily. That's not a problem. But we hit, we got to kill them. All right, let's try to get around the other side here. Try to move them into the center of the map. attention yet? No, not really. Yeah, th th okay, there we go, there we go. Because, yeah, if we can manage to find a good, like, huge city to plunder, that could be worth tens of thousands of florins. Properly. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Come on. Uh, the units can sometimes be a bit unresponsive, but the battles aren't so fast paced that your units instantly die if they're left in combat. Grace of God, 
our men. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, good. This is the garrison here. They're getting wiped out. We don't have to worry about them running away. They can't. They've already lost the battle. They, they don't have the option to withdraw in this battle. The enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. Okay, cool. And this last one here would be easy to deal with. Where you go. So this is a technique that they call the force drawout, where you besiege a settlement and then attack a, a local force nearby, but you let them live, just enough of them, and they'll always retreat to the closest like settlement, but if it's under siege, they can't get into the settlement, and you can use that as your way to eradicate the garrison without having to have a turn of the siege. Civilized people definitely need to execute. A crushing victory. An honor to serve, my lord. Well, everybody's getting their dread up, that's for sure. So over here, we can see Nuremberg as a minor city. Geez, they're turn 113. They really didn't develop their settlements very quick. And the enemy oh, honorably, my lord. God, that is not enough. Faith and courage have made us victorious. We praise God for this gift of victory. Well, the settlement will make a little bit of money over time. An honor to serve, my lord. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna try to get. Okay, how, how about we lower the taxes here, and how about, how about we send you? An honor to serve, my lord. God damn it, we made that the capital too. He he's had had to have held onto this for quite a while. Just turn off that sound; it's annoying. Yeah, anything that we can get rid of that just isn't really that needed, we need to. We've got to get this debt under control. Um. Crap, he's needed here to maintain public order. What are the problems here? Re just religious unrest and squalor. I can't do anything about it though. Can't repair this stuff. I got no money. We're so f so far out of money. Um, I don't know what to do about it. I think an enemy general. Uh, not enemy general. I um, is there a lot of unrest here? Hmm. I think an agent may have climbed in there. Oh, no, it's a French merchant. Um, Your will shall be obeyed. We march. Yes. Oh, there's no way that's going to work. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. It will be an honor Just take an one order. of these generals an and honor one of these Kazakhs and besiege it. And yes. hopefully they sell it out. Yes, my king. Splitting. Your will shall be obeyed. Get marching. Okay, we might be able to pull a draw out over here, but I, I'm not going to reach there next this turn. So what we need to do here is make sure that this army here doesn't move over the end turn. The way we do that is by making it retreat. we move two steps back, me. and it'll be ready for us to Your hit next turn. So I'll be able to... Um, if yes. I hit it again, it'll Bring stand right there. And then I'll be able to take Breslow. Hopefully they'll sally out. I, I can't do that little trick where I... um. Where I put a unit on one corner and then the rest of the army on the other because it's surrounded by a river. So I just have to hope that they consider us weak enough to sally out. So yeah, um, back over here at Krakow. I, I don't know what to do about that. I think we just need yes. to send a crossbow militia over here. I just I don't Man, know what else I can march. do. We move onward tomorrow. Orders, my king. We shall not relent ever. Well, they did open the way for us a little bit. Let's let's have a look. Hmm. 
If they're our allies, are they supposed to block zone of control? Yeah. Huh. It's weird. So this one here is large city. An order. Speak to our dignitaries. They are just looking for opportunistic moments here. Let me just come back to this spot and we have march. a little look. Ooh, Bologna. Bologna's got opportunities written all over it there. Move but they're your allies! Out. Yeah, well, they're not paying me any money, so a turn of a choice. Alright, if we leave An this settlement serve, here, the. I answer only to the Kaiser. And to God. Okay, it's not going to revolt with no units. Yeah, but these guys here, they've used up most of their movement, so just stay there for the turn. We've got to keep these guys together. With your will okay. Shall you have fine right, I don't want to hand there. Will make them fear you. Move out. Sophia is revolting. Jeez, must be under the command of Credit Assembly or something. Um, let's see here. Yeah, nothing else I could do. Can't build anything. Can't recruit anything. Uh, we haven't we haven't really done much, but at least we've gained a settlement. We just got to push towards these rich cities out this way. If we manage to take control of Italy, that could be a a good money maker. But yeah, these are not particularly rich settlements out this way. We need to get the rich stuff. All the stuff in Italy should just be cities, no castles, because the AI don't ever switch them. All right, let's move on. Oh yeah, I forgot about a uh, freaking Ryazan over there. My Sultan sends me with word for your leader. <sighs> just give me some money. I don't know how much I can ask for, but let's just go with a thousand. Because if you ask for too much, they won't be able to do it anyway. Very oh, well. Our discussions come to a close. Good, that worked. Yeah, I just, that settlement over there, I wrote it off at the start, but maybe the AI just was like, yeah, I would let him have it. But it's got a large garrison in there, so it costs us money. God will be with us as we Thing is, disbanding all those forces isn't going to save us that much money, and so it hasn't been worth my attention. So this should be pretty easy to deal with here. There's my lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this tournament. Actually, this is a good opportunity to show you guys another trick. I absolutely don't need to do this in this battle. It's just funny to do it, that's all. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you something that I think is funny. But yeah, we can totally take them out. I mean, all we got to do is make them exhausted. we got horse archers there. Kill the enemy general, charge into them. Easy route. They have no spearmen. But this technique um, works if you can get... If you've got only cavalry garrison um, uh, besieging force, and they've got only infantry force, you bring them out like this, and then get them really far away from the gate... Because when there's no enemy forces left inside the city, they always leave the gate open. And there's no gate bug in Medieval 2. So if the gate's open, you can go through it. Regardless of whether you've actually captured the gate or not. See, the gate bug was introduced in Rome 2. And it was kind of a deliberate thing to stop uh, people from just opening the gate and running through. So what they did is they put this condition, which is persisted across all the other future Total War games. Uh, whereas if you haven't captured the gate, you can't go in through the gate, even if the gate opens. And what that means is if the gate opens, you can't attack the gate, and so the gate bug. Excellent. Our men have taken control of the castle. <laughs> like I said, this is just funny. Oh god, my general over there is completely surrounded. That's him right in there. Oh, he's okay. Getting a few scars on him is a good thing. See, just keep him distracted for another minute. That's it. Throw him in the opposite direction. There's no way they can make it back in time now. 
Like I said, we absolutely didn't need to do this, but it's just Let funny. Victory be a salve <laughs> upon cool. Strength and honor! <sighs> we are victorious! Ah! Right, the largest faction, and we're broke. Actually, this is pretty historical the accurate. Uh, okay, we just lost our diplomat, who cares? Okay, now. Oh, yeah, okay, so we've got an opportunity here to attack Venice. But I think we've got too much force. Like, if we attack this, they... Okay, I'll be careful with that one. That worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, but what's... What is going on here? Yeah, we are at war. What is going on? We're not making money by holding on to this city. Because look, we're losing like probably about a grand this turn. So it's it's losing us about 700 gold per turn. If I just disband all of these units, at least this will be profit. Yes. Um, My lord. It's not like even yeah. if we didn't disband them, we stood any sort of chance against the Mongols anyway. Oops, wrong button. Okay. That'll save us 700 turn. In the grand scheme of things, not a big deal, but you. it all adds up. Get marching. Um, Your will how, you. Okay, that's an Speak easy army. How, how strong are they? Not very. I will make them fear you. You should fear us coming, my enemy. Okay, I could probably use this army here to cause the force draw out needed for this. Of course, I don't have any scouts. Can't really tell. It's down that way. What if I send this Cossack cavalry down here to go and besiege it next turn? Because that dude's not going to go anywhere now. Shall not relent ever. We march. Okay. Set that up for next time. Okay, so this over here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How are we going to do this? If we send too much at them, then they won't stand in fight. Okay, so what we can... Probably shouldn't bring any of the regular troops, because what we're going to do here... Because it's also going to be a river crossing fight. We need to rush across the river as quickly as possible. Hail, friends. Honor to you. <laughs> it's hail, friends, huh? Mm, okay, got to think about how to do this. Because, yeah, if I attack this and then, then, then they run around over here, we miss our opportunity and we're stuck here. So we got to gauge just right how much force we Because I think we've got too much here. Luckily, General's bodyguard aren't ranked as highly in order resolve as they should be. So we got four Speak units in there, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So twelve units versus our twelve units. Okay, and their their stuff seemed pretty high quality. All right, how about we just yes. leave these guys Orders, my king. here, Move out. and I'll just they use all the general's bodyguards. Leave your mercy we behind, yeah. Men. Okay. Uh, look, he wasn't none. able to escape anyway, but I just had to use that as a precaution. So what's, uh, you're 60 years old, huh? Mm, great, you can die next couple of turns. All right. All right, let's do this. If the enemy show you mercy in battle, dude! <laughs> it's legend they were your allies. Doesn't matter, you just need money. <laughs> Venice will make you so much money. The battle seems 40 to be minutes into this, in our favor. And I, I, From I'm only further into the hole. I'm only further into the hole. The thing is, I don't want to disband any of the units, because even though we're spending way more than we should, he's got good troops. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Go. <laughs> Shit. we got to go now. Because yeah, otherwise they're going to take a defensive position, there's only one way across. We have to go now before they get set up. Some of you may die. Mm, I can't fucking charge in that situation. I 
got to get across as quickly as I can. Like I said, some of them are probably going to die, but we've just got to get this crossing over. Luckily, these broken lances aren't exactly great fighters. They're not horrible, but they're not as good as General's Bodyguard. That's it, let the fight happen as quickly as possible. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Get over there. That's it, that's it, that's it. Yep, eat him up, eat him up. Good. Our men have slain the enemy general. Will lose their will. Fine. All right, we got other the crossbowmen coming in. We got the to cross this fucking. Oh shit! They lost half their men. <laughs> we gotta get not be in a blob. Come on, move. Get a try to take out this catapults, uh, the trebuchets. Good thing they're super inaccurate. Don't want to be fighting them so close to the edge here because we gotta we gotta wipe them out utterly. Both forces. There can be no quarter. Good. We need to run them down quicker. We're back. We're back a little bit. I know they're going to hit one of my generals if I'm not careful. Okay, the first time he's been defeated. Oh, God. Yeah, one of our guys died. It wasn't our king, though. Got to cut this one here off. Can't let it get away. Well, let's got the trebuchets now. Actually, sure he gets cut off. Enemy force remains. Who died anyway? Sub the main. Yeah, it sounds like he had it coming. How are we going here? 77%. All right, it looks like we've killed 85% of both armies. In this. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. I think we got him. Alright, we got him. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, just make sure we capture, capture everyone that we can. Otherwise, this is going to end back in Venice, and we're in for a really long siege, and that's not acceptable. Civilized peoples will be awed by the victory right, we have shame won about one of our generals today. dying, but yeah, I can only do so much. Oh! Okay, we got him, right? They deserved nothing less than death. Oh, two of our guys died. That's not good. At least we've got a uh, huge city here. This will be will really good you. for that's, a, that's several turns worth of money. But also, Venice victory. is worth they loads of money. Fear us now. Their doom has befallen them. I have taken their lands. All right, that guy there should maintain we shall not the city. Ever. We'll need to... Oh, yes. God. Um, I don't know what I can do here, because 70... Actually, let's move the uh, capital over. Let's move it to here. This is where we should be. So how's everything else going to look? 
Yeah, whatever, whatever. This is where we should build our new base operations. It's far enough away from the Mongols, and this will make us loads of money. If we can get trade flourishing here, that'd be really good. Enough buildings in here as well to maintain base public order as soon as Orthodox Christianity starts to take root. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to recruit a priest, but they... If this guy here has got any kind of piety, which he doesn't... Ah, oh, great. An order! Alright, now, if I attack this one here with everything that I've got, he should just move over. Move out! Talk is cheap! Come face me! And we or might be able to get Bologna as well this turn. Combine me! Leave your mercy behind, men! Ah, oh, piss! None. They deserved nothing less than death! Okay, well, there's still this guy over here. Obey. Name the field of battle. We will meet you there. Oh, there's people states here as well. Okay, move one tile over to there. We march. I think there's a good chance that they'll stand and fight with all of this. We march to our enemy's doom. Okay, and this this looks pretty easy. We just need to make sure they get into the center of the map. Ah! No, they are doomed. Oh, God. I I knew it. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I knew this wasn't gonna be a one-hour fix. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. Uh, the enemy. In medieval two, they tend not to run away, do they? So let's um let's just go take out that first army straight away. Anyway, this is worth so little balance of power that I don't think it's going to matter. The enemy are badly... Look, bad my lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well, so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, well, we have to let Venice get into the center of the map. Just give them some time to do that. Can't really harass them with my units over here because they've got range superiority. So I kind of need to use these guys here as melee infantry. Ah, melee infantry. Melee cavalry. Alright, I want you three over here. First thing we want to do is try and take out the artillery and the captain who's right there. So go wide around them, cut them off, make sure there's no escape for them. This is far enough away from the red line that we should be fine. We run down units really quickly in Medieval 2. Use these guys here to draw them further in. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they go for a mad rush into the center here, and that is fine by me. Okay, all of their crossbows are actually at the front. The melee infantry are the ones lagging in the rear. Focus on them last. All right, now for a switch. Move these guys to the back, these guys to the front. 
Because we should try to minimize the casualties on these guys here because I cannot replace them. Whereas General's Bodyguard at least replenish over time. Fighting the enemy captain, but these dismounted feudal knights are kind of getting in the way there. Good, he's fine to the death, means we should be able to capture him. Good, good, good. So far, so good. The missile units are not really firing. Good. Let's shoot down at um, melee infantry there. That's good. Stay away from that one. Our men have the enemy general flee. Like the we got coward him. We got him. he is. Strike hard and break the spirit of his army. Okay, looking good, looking good. Looking real good here. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let us pray it remains as such. Only half the enemy force remains. Alright, 70%. That's looking good. Need to get to 85%. Yeah, sometimes in these games you gotta make tough calls, like, the alliance with vendors just isn't worth it. It's not really gonna do you any good, you gotta get out of debt. And they've got some of the richest lands in the world, I'ma just take them. And they're also super easy to fight. You know, I do hear a lot about people say like, oh Milan and Venice, they're super strong, but honestly, I pound them into the dirt without breaking a sweat most of the time. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Cool, yeah, easy to break him. This men of feudal knights don't break quite so easily, but at least they're not anti-large or anti-cavalry. Look how our cowardly foe with. runs. It's time to press the attack. Yeah, that should be enough. By the Lord, our foe. A crushing victory! They okay, cool. must fear us now! That's a good amount of money. I'll take that. Shall not relent, cool. Ever. We're only 154,000 in now. We shall show them none! They deserve okay. nothing left. These guys, there's still a little bit of movement left ever. over. Yes. Okay. But what we should be seeing now is because we've captured two settlements right next to each other, is that they're um, providing income through trade. So if we have a look. Yeah, I don't think that was there before, but what we need is more of that. So attacking Milan makes a lot of sense, but I'm not seeing armies out in the field. But where I am seeing armies out in the field is the Pope. You talking to me? Now, the problem there is that I can't pull off a draw out this turn. It's not possible. I don't have enough movement left. And if I attack him, he's not going to back off. And he's not going to... Like, if I wipe him out, we'll just, we'll just go back into the settlement. It's not going to save anything. Got nothing against going after the Pope. Just, it's not really the right opportunity right this very second. At least this is making us quite a bit of cash here now. So that's great. And it's public order is not great, but whatever, we make do with what we can. All right, over here, them fear you. Uh, we need to do an attack on Breslau. So let's grab you Holders, or you. Yeah, yes. you. Come over here and besiege it. 
so they can't get back into the city. Of course. Moving to Thank you. And then you go like this. Ever. Backs off to there. To Very nice. Lift the siege. Alright, what are we going in here? Easy Lord. and... Ah, two. Easy. Okay, different. easy money. I will make them fear you. You should fear us coming, my enemy. If the enemy show you mercy in... Super easy. All we gotta do is just rush at them. They got nothing they can do against us here. Keep these back, because like I said, I can't replace them. And eventually these generals are going to die. Either from battle or old age. The enemy are bringing man, in getting, reinforcements. Oh getting rid of, I think, several lifetimes worth of debt. Here. As quickly as I bloody can. Now another thing that we've done here by capturing these settlements that we've captured so far is that we're also increasing our base income. So what should end up happening fairly soon is we're actually making money over the end term because we're not spending more unless we lose more cities. Well, that doesn't increase our spend, just decrease our, our uh, income. But yeah, the extra four grand that we're making in Italy should, you know, pay for the troops that are at least in Italy. Now, of course, I'm not done conquering there, but we just got to be careful and wait for the right times to strike. Otherwise, we end up in a bloody 20 turn sieges. It's just, it's just not worth it. Better keep moving. Definitely sucks that we lost two generals over there already, but the river crossing was always going to be a dangerous maneuver. Like the coward he is. Our men are winning the battle. Mighty Lord above, we have captured the enemy. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, easy, and then these two over here. You know, we started at 180,000 debt, and we're down to 150,000, so that's something. Good thing you don't have to pay interest on it. And as we keep capturing more settlements, we'll get more and more income. Eventually, we'll start making like 10 grand a turn. So that way, if we just start burning through turns, we will... Um, it'll get easier as things go along, as long as they keep being super aggressive. We're also going to need to get some degree of revenge on those Mongols. Problem is with what I do, and this is what I really don't like about this situation, is that I'm will be seriously damaging victory. a lot of cities and destroying several turns worth of um, black construction. They deserved nothing less than death! Shall not Ooh, that's Never. a nice general. I will make them fear you. Good, another six grand. Good, under 150 grand. Dead we now. shall show them none. Oh, if but I'm not mistaken, if we just hit end turn, we'll actually make 1,000 profit now. over the end turn. Which means if I just hit end turn 150 times, we'll actually wrong. make a profit. Wow. Yes. Fixed. In 150 turns, which, by the way, you oh, you've actually completed your victory conditions. Okay, 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 okay. How are we going over here? My lord, that was this turn. An order. We would see you dead, okay. heathen. Yes. Forward. All right, one we turn of rioting here An shouldn't matter to too serve, much. Yeah. How bad is it going to be? Uh, yeah, it'll probably riot. My lord. Um, but this guy, when he goes in there, it should maintain public order. An honor to serve, my lord. All right. I don't think the Danish land's super rich. And we should probably consider more about these southern areas down here. But fuck, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to um, this castle of Stetton. Just see what we can find over there. Actually, why don't oh, you go and? Hang on. Let's leave behind a unit of you. Kazakhs. Yes. Forming a huge and fearsome Good. force. Your will shall be Oh shit! We were full out of movement. An honor to serve. An honor to serve, my lord. Orders, my king. Is this guy here? What's his problem? I will so make slow? them fear you. Yes, an honor to your will shall. We shall not relent ever. If you're slowing us down, Orders, my king. I might leave you behind. We actually, an order. Switch around we next turn, maybe. I will make okay, them and we've still got you. these guys here. An honor to serve. Um. 
At least it maintains public order. We can actually honor to serve, my lord. deal with that. So looking at Thorn here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's slightly making a profit. The upkeep on this guy is not too bad. It, it's making a profit. An honor to serve, my lord. Alright, give me a bit of heads yes. up about what's going on over here. With honor. If I go into a draw, we'll just skip it and go straight to Magdeburg. Name the These guys here button. might besiege we will Venice. You there. Name the but that's okay. Alright, that's done. Now these guys here, honor to moving serve, towards Nuremberg, we of course need a drawout opportunity. Yes. With honor. Which I don't know if it's going to be presented to yes. us. An honor to serve. The other thing that we could do is just besiege with one general and just see if they'll sally out. With honor. Confronting the enemy. Okay, no, it's not going to work if there's. If there's that many guys there. Ever. Um. An honor, an, an honor to I will make there's a possibility, fear. it may not happen. There's a possibility this yes. guy here will attack Bringing us over the enter. It seems unlikely, but we're just gonna have to see how things play out. And I'll, I'll move maneuver, I'll maneuver around uh, next turn. Um, okay. I will make them fear you. That might revolt, but whatever, we gotta focus on this area here. So yeah, according to this, we will act, we will actually lose about 400 gold over the end turn. Oh well, but that's better than eight grand. Slightly better. Hey, and if these guys here, the Danes, let me have a look. If I look in diplomacy at the Mongols, they are only at war with me, but they might declare war on the Danes, being that on their border now, maybe. All right, let's move on. Yeah. So hopefully they're sally out at Nuremberg, but I wouldn't hold my breath over that. I would advise you to listen to us. Hmm. Hmm. This could work in our favor. I could just stab him in the back straight away. And this will get me out of the war with the Mongols. It will stop the siege, but that's okay. I, I didn't have any hope in that anyway. How could we refuse <laughs> this wonderful? I submit. Almighty, oh, holy Roman Empire overlord. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not going to pay off my debts for me. But I bear a message that you would be wise to heed. Hmm. Okay, maybe it doesn't pull us out of the wars. Unless, unless Venice was already at war with the Holy Roman Empire, which no. Um, yeah, see, we can't take too much because I just don't have it. No, I don't see how this can work. Hmm. Yeah, okay, whatever. Magnificent. Goodbye. It has been a pleasure. <laughs> hey, we're not at war with Venice anymore. Greetings. Our people have something to discuss. It did take me out of the war with the Byzantine Empire. Please, do not ask things we okay. both wise okay. and okay. these concluding hey, money. Yes. <laughs> it's something. Greetings. I come bearing word for you today. We have no complaints with this plan. Your time was most valuable. Hey, that was a pretty fruitful thank you. An honor to serve, my lord. All right, let's have a look here. Prague, no, that's not good. My lord. Okay, that should maintain though. Uh, okay, over here. Right. Well, maybe I shouldn't have disbanded that stuff. Or maybe I should have. Just let them. What are they doing? Sixty percent. Like this settlement's just not worth anything. Just. Yes. All there is my go. king. Let it turn rebel, and let the Mongols fight over whatever's left of it. It's just not worth anything. Betrayed by the- Oh, really? <laughs> An honor uh, to it's free money! It's free money! Okay, we've got an opportunity over here for a drawout. See, it's a forced drawout in terms of, you know, self-named techniques, if you force the situation, but if they've done it for you, I just call it a regular drawout. 
Now, I can't really do anything at Nuremberg here. I'm if I besiege it, it's just, we're just going to be right back to where we started. I just don't see any opportunities. We've got to keep looking. But we've got an opportunity to capture Milan, so let's go for that. Now, I think... I am a soldier. Yeah, they're Speak neutral. To our representatives. There's always a possibility this guy here will besiege Venice, which is our Speak to current our capital. Uh, and yeah, we're not spreading orthodox. And that is only going to get worse. So that's a problem. But you could always just lose Venice and then take it back again. Uh, okay, so why don't we... We're going to have to leave someone behind here. I will make them fear you. Ivan the cuckold. That's a lot of dread. I'll leave the Grand Duke behind. An order. Let's take these guys. Yes. Wait, how many units we got? I we got three there, friend, and four, four, five, six, majesty. seven, eight, nine. This is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they should stand up tight. Mm. We Probably march. Is fine. That's good. I will make them fear you. March to our okay. That one's easy. Then this one over here. Alright, two enemy generals. Not two oh, these uh they got a lot of bodyguard in this one, just for a family member. Okay, yeah, it should be able to manage. Let's do it. Ah! No, they are doomed! Capturing Milan will not only be worth a ton for sack money, but also for establishing further trade with Venice and Bologna. Of course, capturing Genoa will... Well, capturing the whole of Italy is, is really going to help his finances. This is really rich territory, lots of trade. Okay, so the enemy reinforcement should be coming from downhill. Keep these guys here, and I'm just going to rush at the first army. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in skill. Now, if we wipe out these guys here, I doubt that the enemy forces are going to run away. Anyway, that's usually something that we see in Rome Total War, not Medieval 2. I definitely have seen the AI run away before. It's just rare. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. That one there's the captain. Don't worry about these other ones so much. Yeah, maybe they're running towards their friends, and that's fine the if they do. General is no true man. He flees no, they're going the after these guys. And abandons his men to their fate. Yeah, we just don't want to win too hard Our men too have fast. Captured the enemy general. Guard him there, okay. so he can so see far, us so defeat the rest of his army. We've also got a really significant high ground here, which is going to be good. Alright, so these are just Italian spear militia, with the enemy general dead and being surrounded by very dreadful generals. I don't think these guys are going to hold out for long. In fact, we just need to go and breathe down their necks and they'll probably piss their pants. Which is law friendly for Italians. Oh my god, I'm getting in trouble for all the racism. Look how our cowardly foe runs! It's time to... Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. What are they doing? Get organized, move forward, right? Move forward. Okay, good. Because, yeah, we, we can't be fighting them there. It's too close to the edge. Guys having a bit of a chance to recover, they have, that's good. That's it, just draw them in further. This high ground's really good for us, don't get me wrong. No, they want to hold a defensive position there. If I don't do something, we'll run out of time. Alright, let's get going. 
Can you bring... Yeah, yeah, dude. Send those over that way. These over this way. You guys over here. Okay, 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 okay. And... If we just charge right into this, we might find ourselves losing more than we want. I wanted to either separate the Genoese crossbowmen first, or the general's bodyguard. Now, if I go charging into the Genoese crossbowmen, we need to make sure that we actually get away from them fast, um, quickly enough. So if I send the general's bodyguard, they're not going to get away from these guys. But if I send these ones in, they might get away. We just have to make them angry. Okay, wasn't that much of a charge, wasn't expecting much. But I was just trying to make them mad enough that they would come at us. Which I'm not sure if I did. Okay, the Genoese crossbowmen are moving there, so let's go for them. Honestly, that's a good start, taking out this unit here. Move away from them, hopefully they'll rally. She only left 34 of them behind. Move, 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 move. Rally. If it doesn't, we could be in trouble for getting the, the required numbers of kills. It rallied. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's what we wanted. Alright, you guys. Good. We're drawing away the general's bodyguards now. That's good. We want these guys here to show them. I don't expect them to get absolute tons of kills, but at least we have the high ground, that does make a big difference. I'm sure what we're doing at the moment is just scratching off some of those hit points. Be okay to charge into them now. To that one. So we've got some Genoese crossbowmen over there, but don't worry about them so much just right now. Yeah, this general's his ass is mine. We got him. Where, where is he? Hard to see in this damn darkness. There he is, okay. Good. He's right in the thick of it. Really make sure he doesn't get away. Okay, cool. I think that's the actual commander of the battle. So that one there is the reinforcing... Not the reinforcing general, just the accompanying general. Alright, you guys just charge into that. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. That unit there gets wiped out. Draw him further uphill. Make sure we get him surrounded. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Make sure he's surrounded. Good, and these guys here are nothing. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Probably gonna get a lot of friendly fire if I left that on. 
And good, the other general's gone. Good, good, good. Now we just need to get no, uh, 85%, which that should be easy. Only half the enemy force remains. Obey your orders. Good. It's broken. The enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. All right, that should mean Milan is ours. Lord, our foe is utterly vain. <sighs> well, you know, I did exactly what I expected. I, I, I wasn't going to be able to get all this dead away. That's a decent amount of money. For sure. But sacking the settlement will be more. So no. <laughs> Deserved nothing less than death. Yep. Your will a lot shall more. be obeyed. Leave okay. Mercy well. Behind men. So we, we went from 180,000 in debt a to 120,000. We knocked off 60,000 debt. That's you know, to start. We also, broken. if we have a look at the income we here, we're making about triumphant. five grand a turn. So again, that's not nothing. Uh, it's a bit tenuous in terms of public order out this way, but. That's because of religious problems, it's just not the same religion, and we have no means at all to convert anyone because nobody's pious. I mean, this guy's pious, but it's just, it's just not happening. Plus, there's you know, cardinals and shit out here. This is we've got to wipe out these factions if we want to actually um, get the religious up. Uh, looking at Venice, there, yeah, seventy percent weren't revolt, but it's getting pretty bad. And over here, we're just going to figure things out. Okay, so we're going to end it here. I've knocked off 60,000 debt, but this clearly needs like a live stream in order to uh, to continue fixing it up. So if that's what you guys want, let me know in the comments. Obviously, if this video does well, we'll continue doing it. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed doing this one. I really enjoy the ones that you guys are sending in. Keep sending me more of these kind of disasters. They're awesome. I uh, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.